All right, hey guys, uh, we left ourselves in a little bit of a predicament last episode, so <laughs> let's go ahead and see if we can recover from that. We are unusually starting from the main menu, as you can see. So we're going to load in, immediately be recording. We are currently under fire, so uh, let's find a way to deal with that. First off, let us... Change these over, not short range torpedoes. Also gonna slow time down because we need as much time as we can get right now. Um, things are not going well. So copy all these. I did take the ACBs off and yeah, that's a big hit right there. So what exactly are we fighting? We have the rapier, which seems to be what's throwing missiles at or torpedoes at us, I believe. And yeah, it is worth 63k. So we can probably manage to sink that. Um, so let's just go ahead. I was about to build right there. Glad I didn't. <laughs> um, cancel the reconstruction of that so let's just go ahead take a look at this torpedo uh, torpedo propeller this of this and of that and what key are you set to uh, slot four and I don't have a weapon controller in here so let's go ahead and add one oops that was a piece of the ship so weapon four right Wait, what do you mean we have no ammo we have plenty of ammo. Missing gantry can't reload. Which gantry are you missing? Are you still considering these as part of it? Is that the issue? Like, that's got to be it. Is that it? There we go. Okay, so, fire that. Let's see, is it going to spot that thing is the question. Because it is over there this thing has a torpedo no when I did that I didn't put a torpedo on it because it obviously took it off when I did that um yeah so torpedo sonar fins and prediction guidance and we'll have to wait 35 seconds for that to reload so in the meantime, let's go ahead and get our propulsion back online, you know, because we kind of need that. Uh, I also want to double check these. Uh, yeah, they're mostly destroyed. What do you do? Roll. Yeah, so all of our rollers are mostly offline. The big APS cannon is offline, obviously, on both sides. Yeah, both sides. So, I do like that our pitch is up and running. Uh, let's go ahead. Put some repair bots down. Bring these online, hopefully, faster. Because we, we basically don't want to be floating right now. Floating is bad. Um, I'm thinking we're going to add some lead. Just to get ourselves under the waves properly. There we go. No idea if that's going to be enough. Probably not. That's a direct hit. 
these are Hearthstone extensions. Don't need those up here at least. Don't need you. Okay, these are online and they're set to torpedo mode and they are fireable, it looks like. Um, so let's go ahead and take a shot with those. Because yeah, if we can manage to sink that enemy, okay, and we are indeed sinking, the lead's doing its job, that's good. Uh, we're gonna refund these before they get destroyed. Might put them back later, I'm not sure. But for now, it's uh, not worth it. <laughs> they don't do anything, we're not exactly fighting aircraft, so they're just a 4,000 gold risk. All right, that's fine. It's just another little hit. I'd like to see. Yeah, they're going in the right direction. Looks like they're out of fuel. No, they got plenty of fuel still. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, we're not gonna watch to see if they hit. We're gonna assume they don't, because that's the most likely scenario. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it would probably be wise to increase our armor. What am I, what's here? Oh, a chair. <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> This is supposed to be. Oh, right here. There it is. Just get that repaired. Make us into just a big hunk of metal, essentially. <laughs> Another hit. Well, if you're going to keep hitting in this area, I'm going to just reinforce it. This thing seems to be working, so let's bring another one online. That's probably the best idea. Copy to the other two. Where is he? Because that's basically what we want to do. We just want to keep getting missiles out there. Hopefully take that thing down. Bring stuff back online. I didn't do too much damage at least. Ah. <laughs> at least that area is armored. <laughs> oh, I don't have Alt N turned on. There we go. Don't 
do want to get rid of all this wood area up here. Just cut that off. I don't I actually don't know what we would want this upper section for. Uh, we are probably not returning to being a blimp, <laughs> at least for a while. So if I just cut this off, it should be fine. Maybe one day we'll make it into like a weapons deck, like a deck for weaponry, but not quite yet. <laughs> this Oof. should see if there's a way to add like a ballast to these torpedoes just because them dipping under the water constantly is probably not helpful we're actually going to catch up to this thing, I think. Assuming the regulator doesn't run out. dead nice okay so with that AI dead that is the last foe that was shooting at us so um, it's basically time to get moving can't use these underwater anyway <laughs> This whole area, this needs to be repaired pretty desperately. Because this is our ability to turn and everything. <laughs> still something off to our east. It's, oh, it's still not dead. That's why. It's dying, but it's not dead. <laughs> yeah, so we want to go salvage that. And then we want to get our butt through a portal. That is the goal for this episode. Get repaired, get through a portal, keep moving. So. I have AI movement on. Yeah, I do. The question is, we're barely moving. Mainly because of this thing's bulk, I guess, at this point. And the fact that this needs to desperately be repaired. This thing set up properly is... Airbots are super slow, so we'll do it manually. There we 
go. Brings that back online. Our ability to steer is functioning, functional. Uh, we are going to want some extra steering in the form of propellers. Let's go ahead, install these here. Man, these are just both gone, aren't they? All right, well, install this for now, set it to roll. Hopefully, three of them can get us rolling properly. Uh, that's still being repaired, so we can't really make use of it. I don't want to, I don't want to do manual yet. Uh, so this is a pitcher, and so is this. Perfect. So, our power output looks okay. It's basically just getting these repairs underway. <laughs> and I don't know what that is, but it's far to the east and it looks dangerous. Let's take a look. That, oh, it's just a vanguard. These have a big flag. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because these are the corpses of everything that was threatening us. So that one's the big one to get. So I think that's going to be our course. Hmm. I'm just debating how to make this thing effective <laughs> okay, maybe I should make the goal to be getting back in the sky let me know let me know in the comments what you guys think whether we should go back to being a blimp or if we should take this as a uh, lesson <laughs> But yeah, if we if we do switch over mm. to mainly being what is this? Oh, it's part of this whole superstructure. Oh, that's well, just disconnected. <laughs> Yeah, so if we become a ship, this is going to be, well, a ship slash sub. This area up here is going to be our, like, upper deck. So. Let's go ahead. this out a little bit probably not the greatest plan in the world but whatever never have good plans yeah we'll extend this out okay let's see is there yeah balance tank depth and buoyancy Yeah, so if we just set that to like nine, I, I feel like, yeah, let's just set it to 10, just an even 10. Copy that to the other launch pads. There we go. Perfect. Brings those online. Uh, 
Okay, repair bots, can you not build this? I'm fine with doing internal dented blades at this point. We have taken enough damage that I'm, I'm willing to just say okay. I guess this APS gun has to be I'm not gonna destroy the internals of it I'm leaving that as is and they're gonna be remounted somewhere up top so we're keeping the cannon itself on both sides uh, we're just uh, getting rid of the current iteration of it <laughs> but we will be remounting those up on top just because I do like the design of them I really need this front section repaired. All right, little tiny enemy, you're going to be dealt with. What is, like, what is this? Like, we just get like random repaired blocks, <laughs> just added onto the craft. Uh, what is this whole section? No. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the ammo room. Okay. Well, we'll leave that to be repaired. Uh, we are going to go ahead and build ourselves some missile launching systems up on top here. We're using small missiles a very large number of them System one. Fuel. Bins. Uh, regulators. And yeah, we'll do frag. Why not? What is going on here? There we go. Copy to all. And we do want identify friend or foe. <laughs> and we are going to go ahead and build these essentially into a little bunker. Because I don't exactly want them dead. So let's go ahead and swap to. Let's see if we can uh, kill the Vanguard <laughs> before it becomes a major threat to our existence.
out and out of fuel. So let's um, let's rethink that. I think we might need to make some modifications. <laughs> Do have to adjust the thrust amount just to make sure that we're actually using all that fuel efficiently and copy it across all right wait and we are aimed at the wrong thing guys <laughs> uh, apparently there's another enemy So I don't think, yeah, no, not even close to that thing. We did get to about three kilometers range, which is nice. Um, forgot these had one turn. So they're also after that other enemy. Let's just continue on our way to the portal. We've actually done a... Like, I'm not exactly happy with the ship redesign so far, but I think it's going to be an interesting one. I'm just going to armor it up a little bit more. I think it's going to be an interesting redesign. Um, it's because it is going to be a little bit of a fat little ship. <laughs> and I mean, I could always remount this whole bottom section as the bottom carriage and just develop a big wooden balloon again and just leave you know the underwater parts intact that way if we get a shot out of the sky again we can at least get going faster but yeah um we do need a lot more armor and we'll see if we can get that vanguard definitely in range question is will it survive i highly doubt it <laughs> nope. Melted. <laughs> uh, thousand material. No, we're not stopping. Two thousand... Is it seven? No, that was one. But yeah. It's pretty nice to be running this thing off of um, RTG power. We are a little low, and I did destroy this, so I'm just going to replace that. Yeah, let's get those extra RTGs. We have the we have the resources for it anyway. So we could just go ahead, plop those down, fill in some more holes. I want to armor this compartment up a little bit more. Probably I'll probably do that when I am modifying the APS cannon to be mounted on the top. This section still isn't even repaired yet. Uh, let's go ahead and put down some more repair bots. <laughs> like, how is this back section so slow to get fixed? Like, you'd think the repair bots there, there's six of them, would just be, like, working away on it. But I guess they're flying yeah. to other segments of the ship. Who knows? Yeah, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for us to have all these ramps. So let's go ahead, pull these off. Oh, that's a one piece. Oh, probably should have had alt N on. Not sure. Not sure why we never have that on. <laughs> Just means doubling down on work all the time. Oh, well, uh. And since we're not putting the APS cannon here, we just pull it out. Don't need that repair drone there. And go ahead, fill this little bit of the armor in, I guess. There we go. Yeah, making this thing um, 
<laughs> you know, uh, nice looking is going to be an interesting challenge. <laughs> We'll just seal this off, make it a nice little compartment. Wrap this so that the APS is at least going upwards. And fill these in. There we go. Oh, and is that a two block gap? Yeah, put that in. Hmm. Let's armor this up, make it a little bit better. This is the front of the ship, so it's probably going to take lots of hits. I don't think we'll be going as uh, overboard as we did last time. I do want these to actually be properly hatched. Uh, aerodynamic. Nah, let's just, yeah, let's just go with these. There we go. Gonna have to adjust the actual missiles themselves, though, because they are uh, no longer valid. <laughs> and I was thinking about... Maybe I should replace them with uh, large missiles, I don't know. go we have a nice sealed compartment here also and just fill that in <laughs> we don't really need uh all the missile detectors that aren't under or that aren't of a aren't workable because they just don't work underwater all right so let's get us through the portal um how exactly do i want to do this hmm just debating. I don't think there's any large compartments anymore that we could just fill with helium to just like launch us up a little bit. It's all, yeah, it's all little compartments. Even this one, because it's just filled with ammo. Uh, that's also a little concerning. The deck isn't that thick. That would actually be a pretty sizable hit. <laughs> oh, Hearthstone. Why is the Hearthstone extensions up here? All right, um, yeah, hot air balloons are the way to go. Let's see, let's see if we can get this. Just a couple more. There we go. And then we'll do it across here to make it easy to just fill them all in at once and spread to neighbor. Um. Guys, I don't think it's working. And I can't see. How about a stick? Yep, we hit it. Perfect. All right, so that's going to be the end of episode 18, guys. We are back on our feet. Everything is up and running again. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> and um, so many balloons. <laughs> I hope you guys like the new look of the ship. <laughs> and I'm just going to get a screenshot. So have yourselves a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye.